So some people are starting to look at using 3D printing locally here to get past the tariffs. The tariffs are an interesting situation because it's chaos in a, in a totally different way. It's less about mm -hmm. the supply chain being broken yeah. and more just being expensive. Like, yeah, saving like money. Ev every step, like just like the supply chain issue, it makes people try to dig deep into their process and be like, I I'm thinking more of these like big companies, like they've they've outsourced so much of the process and had like all these different stops that uh, part an assembly or whatever they're selling a product it goes through before it actually ends up in someone's hands. Now all of that process could be affected by any of those changes in obvious ways and not obvious ways. As chaotic as it is for people like us that have 3D printers and know how to use them, this is almost an exciting time because there's so many opportunities for 3D yeah. printing to like jump in and and be useful. And one thing about 3D printing is it's like a customization, like it's it's amazing for customization and like a few use case parts. There's going to be a lot of those with yeah. with this tariffs and how it affects prices. And even I've, I was reading an article on LinkedIn about uh, military programs. And if just a single part, even just like the plastic connector that connects something for whatever they're using, like that could cancel the whole program. But yeah you could jump in and, and fix that with 3D printing. Absolutely. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how many parts or we'll try to transition to 3D mm. printing. Cause yeah, like you're gonna get, you know, every part that's coming across these might be taxed differently.